Hello. This webinar is going to cover the new CRM for the Client Creator System. I'm going to review the new features and systems that are available to you as a Client Creator member uh, and the tools that are set up now to help you become more productive and utilize the CRM in our system a little bit better. The CRM homepage has a different look to it, and I'm going to go over each of the areas and the features so that you're familiar with everything that it can do for you. Um, I will try to cover uh, it as quickly as possible, but there are a, new, a lot of new uh, powerful systems in this Client Creator CRM uh, that you're going to want to use um, and add into your systems. The first is the home page, or the Client Creator Manager. Uh, you'll get this by accessing the Client Manager on your menu bar or on your home page. You'll see here on this test account that I have four clients listed in my system, and that's displayed right there. Um, so this will tell you the total amount of clients. If you have multiple clients or, or thousands of clients in the Client Creator system, um, you will have a page uh, option down here at the bottom, so you'll be able to get to pages uh, or scroll. The reminder section in the Client Creator System is going to show you any upcoming tasks or overdue tasks that you have not completed, that you have set up. Uh, this scroll bar here uh, will show you what is due and upcoming in the next seven days. Our system now allows you to be notified via email and or text message to let you know about the upcoming task or appointment that you have set up uh, to be reminded for. Oh, one moment. So anything you have set up here will show in the section above here. You also have available to a full calendar, uh, and that will show all of your tasks and allow you to set up appointments from there as well, and I will go over that uh, shortly, but I want to stay on this home screen. Uh, you have another option here to search clients. This is a, a very powerful feature so that you can search clients by many, many different types of filters. Uh, you can search, obviously, by their name. Uh, you can search by their email address. You can search by their phone number. Uh, you can search by uh, the source that they came in from. Um, email campaign, text campaign, whatever you want to search in here will allow you to display that information. Uh, you'll see I have only four clients, but I'm just going to put in the, uh, the word Rand. And you'll see that it comes up with this information for uh, Rand Smith. Uh, now, this other one brand for, uh, that I set up manually has a Rand uh, system in it, so that's why it's pulling up that information. Uh, but even if I put in uh, the email address that's in there, we be Rand, it will just display that information. So I'm just going to clear that out and go back to all of our clients. So we have that list. Um, there is an option here to search by the type of client that you have set up in their status. If they are a new client, you click on the new. It will show you all of the new clients if you have set them up in progress. Active. Uh, I don't think I have anybody else in anybody else. Oh, my working. So you have a couple different options to search and set up your client status. And, and I'll show you where to set that up as well. It's uh, pretty easy. Uh, but we're going to go back to the... Uh, New, we're going to go back to the all to display them all. You also have an option here if you only want to display the ones that were came in from the lead capture pages, you'll just click on the lead list and that'll show you everybody that came in from the lead capture pages. If you want to click on one to display the phone number, this will display the phone numbers for all of your leads here. And anybody that you've previously deleted, if you want to go in and review that information, you can do that, and that'll show you how to uh, view those clients and those details. So even though you might have deleted them, uh, they are still available to you, and you can reactivate them and restore them. On the top here, you have uh, your header fields, uh, and these can all be sorted. So if you wanted to sort by date, uh, ascending, descending, uh, or by name, and uh, source, whatever it may be. You can click any of these, uh, and that'll sort it back out. 
I'm going to sort these back by name, sending, there we go. If you also want to do a couple of things for multiple clients, so let's say you're searching for uh, clients that you had on your lead list, and you want to send an email to all of these people, so you want to check each one of those. You're going to notice that you have a whole bunch of options that just appeared up here. So with multiple people selected, you can send an email. You can send a text message to them if they have a cell phone in there. You can change their status. You can change the client type that they are. Or you can delete them all. All of this information is available. I can go through and send an email. I will type in the subject, test subject. And I can continue to, uh, this is my message. And if I click send here, it will send an email to all of those clients that you have selected. I'm not going to do that right now. I can also go in and text them. Send a nice brief text message. This will show, uh, send a quick message to all of your client's cell phones. Um, and uh, you can do a basic message and it will send it out immediately from, from the system. Another option here is just going to select those again. I can change their status. So let's say I wanted to change them from the new status to the closed status. Click on the status, and then if I click up here to close, you'll see all of those clients are now in the closed status. One other thing we can do here is we can change the type that they are. So let's say that they are a, uh, let's just say that they're expired listings. So when we go in, we change their status. Now they're all going to be expired listings, and I'll show you momentarily where that information shows up. And the final thing is if I wanted to delete them, which I'm not going to do, I'm just going to click on this delete, and they'll remove these from your clients. Remember, this is always available in your deleted section as well. I want to cover a little bit more of the... Uh, task section, uh, just to show you some of the features and options you have available to you here. Uh, obviously, this is, again, displaying the information that you have uh, coming up with some due tasks. Uh, if you hover over the uh, task, it'll show you the entire message and the entire event. Uh, so you can do that pretty easily just to get a reminder. Obviously, again, this one's showing overdue because it was passed due. If I want to remove this from the reminder section, I'll just click on Mark Done, and it'll remove it. Same thing with this one. And it'll I just keep the ones that are current going over. Uh, the calendar option is available in your main menu, and you can also access it here. Uh, it'll bring up all of your tasks and your information that you can set up. Uh, obviously, you'll see everything that has been previously scheduled. You can go back a month, go forward a month. Uh, however you want to do it, you can set up a, a new task. Uh, so if we wanted to set up a new task, we would click the Add button right here in the top. Let's say I wanted to set up a call, and I'm going to do this on the 19th. And we're going to do it at uh, 3 o'clock p.m. Now, I typed that in, uh, but you also have a little date thing here that you can use. So if we want to do that for date here, we want to do that for 3.30 we can do that as well and just mark that information here. I'm sorry, 4 o'clock. We'll do that as an end time. And the task is I have to meet them at the house. I'm sorry, it's a call. So I'm going to call about the house. And then here's the option to notify you via email or notify you via text. Both are available, one or the other, no problem. Uh, and the amount of days that you want to be reminded. So if you want to be reminded three days prior to the event, two days prior to the event, just put that number here and hit Save. And that information is going to be added. And if we go back to the upcoming task, I'm just going to refresh this. So you can see that the information has been added to the calendar here. And if you click on it, you can bring up the information again. Let's say you want to change the date. Uh, I want to make that on the 21st. And we'll just change that to uh, still 3 o'clock. And we'll change this to the 21st as well and change it to 4 o'clock. So we'll click on Save. And that will update that information. You'll see now it populates down here. If we go back to our client list, you'll see also that these are coming up. Um, 
a call about their home. There you go. If it's on the 21st, you see that it's showing up there. So that's how you can add and do events with calendars. I'm also going to show you how a, you can do it through a client details, which we're going to get into. So in the client list to the right of the information, you're going to see uh, an option for verify. This is a two-step verification that is done through each lead capture page. So if they enter in an email and or a cell phone number and they enter in correctly the verification code that is sent to them immediately, uh, they will become a verified contact information. So that's why this displays here. So we're going to go into this one client here and we're going to pull up the details and cover the powerful system that is now in your client details. So there are many things that go over in this and I'm going to cover each one of them for you. So off the very top, you'll obviously see that you have a, his name uh, and an icon. If you have a picture of this client or if you want to upload, or a change, you can click on that and upload an image for this uh, client. And it'll put them as their, uh, as their avatar for their account information. The date of entry, uh, their address that they entered in, uh, whether it was brought in from the import or whether it was done through a lead capture page, this is the information that is entered in for their property address. Uh, birth date, birth date is another uh, cool feature actually that I did not cover. So I'm actually going to uh, go in in a minute and change that and show you where a birthday announcement will show in the calendar and your upcoming reminders. Uh, email address, uh, email address other, phone number, uh, all the basic information is here. So if we click on the edit and any of these are all editable features uh, and bring that information up, I'm going to put this uh, client's birthday as the, uh, uh, the 19th. I'm going to put in 1970. Uh, I'm not sure how old Rand is, but I'm going to put that in there. Uh, email address other. I'm going to show you how this information populates shortly. Uh, phone number, phone number other, and cell phone number. And anything you want to change, you can obviously do that within this section. Hit the Save button, and it'll bring this information back. Now, again, I just changed the birth date, so I just want to go back to the client manager real quickly and just show you how this will show up. Uh, it will advise you of any birthdays that are coming up within the month. So if you have any clients that have an upcoming birthday uh, within the month, that is a nice little feature that will show you and send you a reminder uh, for that as well. So, sorry to get back off that page. All right, we're going to pull this back up. So in that first section, there's the basic information for the client. Uh, client type, uh, if you remember previously, we, re we changed all of those clients for the, uh, on, the, on a batch change, and it changed the client type here. Uh, if we want to change it again, we can simply click on that, and let's just say that he is a buyer. And it'll change that information to a buyer. Let me refresh it. Yep, there it goes. Sorry, it was a little slow. Uh, client status is closed. Uh, we can make him a, a in progress and save that information and it'll update the in progress. A very cool feature of your client creator CRM is if you they have an address in here. Uh, you can simply click on this address information, our home value information, and it'll pull up the property details immediately. So you'll have instant access to the address, the information on the home, market value, uh, square footage, uh, and you can see an actual aerial shot of the, uh, of the property. So it is a quick feature to give you access to this information, uh, four beds, four baths, some, you know, some good, you can zoom in if you want to, it's a, a Google map. So this is, a, this is a, quite a feature that you can, that you can do pretty quickly. Um, even if you just if they don't have the information in here or, or it's not formatted properly, all you have to do is put the information in or update it, and that home value will be available to you immediately. Uh, sometimes if it does not work or it doesn't pull up a property, there's probably something wrong with the zip code or the uh, city or the uh, uh, property address, so just double-check that to make sure that it is accurate. The next section is your his preferences. Um, so this is going to tell you the source. The source is going to be the lead capture page of the, um, 
of the lead. Actually, he's a seller, so I'm going to actually change him a seller lead because it came in through the uh, seller lead capture page. Um, acreage is if he was if there's information on how many acres he's looking for or looking to or how many acres his home is. Uh, area of inf interest would probably more be for a buyer uh, price range, what they're looking for. I mean, all this information is editable. You just click on this, and you can put all this information in for the client. Uh, we saw that on the property. It was four beds, four baths. Uh, you can put the square footage in um, and save the information. Oh, this bottom here is a Monday morning coffee. By Monday morning coffee, the, by default, they are to receive the Monday morning coffee, uh, and that's why it's uh, defaulted as yes. Uh, if you have to change them for any reason, they want to stop receiving the Monday morning coffee, just simply put a no or remove that, that yes, and they will no longer receive that information. So these are all the property detail or the uh, client details that you can uh, that you can edit. We're going back up to the top right hand screen. We have a couple different options here. We can add a note, add a task, send an email, send a text. So a note is just going to be a, a note that you want to put attached to the to the file. Uh, let's say on I'll pick today that we spoke to them, uh, spoke to client. Client will follow up up next week. So this is just a little like a notepad and you'll see that it populates immediately down here uh, in your notes section. So it can uh, just be a little running thing for you if you have uh, some notes that you want to take on them, some reminders, uh, you know, about some information that they're looking for, you can put this right into the notes section. Nice little feature about this is when it popped up, you can modify it if you forgot to put something or you want to add something to that, or if you simply want to delete it, you can uh, you can do that. Um, so you just put that information in there and it will populate. Next nice section is the task. This is similar to the calendar function, but this is going to be client specific. So if you want to add a task for this client, uh, let's say we're going to do a phone call and we're going to, I'll use this here, uh, we're going to do it now, next week and we're going to do it at 10 o'clock a.m. And that works there and then we'll do it again. You can type to 23, 2022 and if I want to end it at 10.30 a.m. I'm going to call with Rand to discuss home sale. And I want the system to notify me by email and via text, and I wanted to remind me two days prior. Save that information, and it is saved onto the system. You get a little notification here, it's saved. And now you can also pull up his tasks here. So we have two uh, things. One we already had, this was in the, uh, in the main section, and this is the new one that we just added. So it puts that in there. The to-dos is a, uh, a light yellow color. The calls are a green color. And actually, we can modify this. If I change this to an appointment, just so you can see, it changes to it's a light green color. So they're color coordinated to make it easy for you to, to review and see the information. Um, with this, obviously, you saw what I modified, what the information is. And if I completed it, I can mark it as done. Just as it does on the other one, it will remove it from your task list. Nice and easy. And pretty cool feature. The next is an email. Um, so, if you want to create an email and send it to them immediately, uh, it auto-populates with their primary email address, which is pulled from here. And your email address is in the From section. And if you want to type in a test subject, um, subject, test subject, and then you just type in your message. Let's meet about, talk about your home. You got some options up here. If you want to uh, change the style, bold it, underline, uh, change the font, change the color, uh, paragraph link. Uh, if you want to add a video, if you want to add an image, you can, this is a nice one. You can just choose from your file, insert your image. Uh, if you want to add a video, this is going to be something you're going to add from like YouTube. So you would copy and paste the link into uh, into here and then insert the video. You can't actually attach a video to an email. It would be too large. So you want to create a link to that video. Typically what I do is use a YouTube and then update that to the uh, YouTube link. And then once you click on send, uh, it will send a message to 
the client. I did send it successfully. The form reset. You can see the message came up. Nice thing on this is if you go into the email section now, this is going to tell you what the status is of your message. So you can see, I just sent a message to him. It was accepted in the system, and then the system re returned a, uh, an update and says that it is delivered. So you'll get an instant access information to the emails and delivery. You can click on the view to the right, and it'll pull up all of the details of the message, who it was delivered, when it was delivered to, if it was opened, clicked on. All of that information is going to be available to you uh, immediately. So if you weren't sure if you sent a message or you were not sure it was delivered, um, you can always check the email status here, and it'll show you that information so it'll be easily trackable. Um, you can view this information at any time. It is instantaneous, so uh, it'll update constantly. So we're going to go over to the text. Uh, it's also going to send you a text message. So I'm just going to um, send a text message, uh, testing my text message. And if I click Send, it's going to send that text message. Now you're going to see that it is in got a text category here. We have two options. We have outgoing and incoming. Since we just sent it, all of the outgoing messages are going to be displayed here. So we can see on 217, I sent that message, and that was the message details. If I click on the message option to the right of this and hit view, it will show you the message and the details, who it was sent to, when it was sent, and the status of the message. So if there's any errors or issues, or maybe it's a bad phone number, it will display that information here. Again, this is available instantaneously. Now, if he responds to you, it will go to your email or to your cell phone um, if you have a cell phone on your account set up. Hopefully you do. If you do not, it will come into the incoming. It will show you a message that is coming in, and then it will tell you, you know, what the message was so that you can either reply to it, um, you know, forward it to your, to your cell phone or, or follow with the information and send that up to them. So even if you do not have a cell phone set up with our system, you can still track and send messages um, by this option right here. Uh, really good communication. It is, again, instantaneous. So as soon as they send that information back, um, it will uh, it will display here. So a real cool communication portal that you can use uh, for text messaging. So that covers the top sections on the notes, tasks, uh, emails, and text message system. Okay, this next section is for the email and text campaigns that are assigned to a client. So this client came in on a lead capture page, so they are automatically assigned to an email campaign that was assigned to the lead capture page. Uh, the address grabber is the one that is the instant home valuation, so that's the one with the campaign automatically assigned. So you'll see that listed here in the campaign section. You'll see the one listed on. Since he was just added, there hasn't been an, uh, I don't think there was a message sent. Um, I d actually, I disabled him from receiving messages, so that's why it was not sent. But this would send, this would tell you the last time the message was sent to a client, um, and it will display what was sent. So if I want to go in and see the details of this email campaign, I can click on Modify. And here it is. It will show me what is sent. This is telling you that on 216, the message uh, was it accurate sent out. Uh, and this is the details of the message, 219, 223, and so forth and so on for the entire email campaign message. Now, any of these are editable if you want to go in and change that. But please note that if you change this, you are changing the campaign. So it's not just a specific message. You're actually in the actual amount of email campaign to, to change. So if you wanted to change anything here, you would just change it. Um, and you would click on Save, and then it will save the information in here. Actually, I'll just change this. Uh, I'm just going to add an asterisk just so you can see. If I hit Save here, uh, it adds the asterisk to the beginning of the message.
Um, so you can go in and make modifications on the fly here to their campaign, and it'll update the information. Uh, calculates the date uh, of, that they're going in. So if they signed up on the 16th, they're getting the day zero message. And then this is obviously, I think it was what, uh, was it accurate, is day three. So if you wanted to change uh, the dates that they received them, you just change the uh, entry date. If you wanted it to be the fourth day that they signed up, uh, you would just change that to, to a four, and then it'll update the, the days. Uh, but the dates that they're sent are based on the sign-up date plus the amount of days in your days to send section. Um, so it's pretty easy to, to calculate that. If for any reason you wanted to change this campaign and put them on a different campaign, pretty simple. Click on Change Campaign. It'll populate with your email list here, and you can choose from any of your email campaigns. So let's say I wanted to put them on a... Um, they're a seller, uh, real truth about the owns value, and hit save. And it'll update that information here, um, and it updates the messages as well. It also resets them, so they'll get the messages out. Uh, again, you just click on change. Let's say we want to put them in their buyer. Let's change that. You'll see uh, it's going to change the messages to don't buy a home right now, and have that information out. Um, again, it will change their date uh, to today's date, so it will reset them on the campaign. You'll notice that their first message is going out on the 17th is today. And all the following messages that were going to go out. So I'm going to change them back to the address grabber. It's going to have an evaluation. Even though it's resetting them, that's fine. So that's how you can modify and view the email campaign messages. If you wanted to add them on another campaign on top of this one, simple, just click on the Add Campaign and you'll choose the email campaign that you want to add them to. Uh, I did this one previously and you select the Select. So now you'll see that they're on two campaigns here. Uh, now, be careful on this because obviously they're gonna be receiving a lot of emails uh, simultaneously at some point. Uh, so only do this if you know that they're looking for specific information and the campaign is applicable to them. But for now, I'm actually going to remove this one. So I'll simply click on the delete and it'll delete them from the campaign. We're going to move over to the text campaigns. Again, he has a seller-free text campaign because he was added through the lead capture page and that was already assigned to that. Uh, but let's say you brought in a client and you didn't have that automatically signed, so this would be where you would get that set up. So we're going to go similar to the modify uh, this existing campaign. This is going to tell you the messages. The, these are text messages again, so that's why they're short and sweet. Uh, they don't have a subject because text messages don't have a subject. just tells you the date that it's going to send the message and the message that's going to go out. Uh, again, if you wanted to edit any of these messages, just click on the edit button. Uh, and you can change the, the message. We don't have all the bells and whistles on the text message for bolding or anything like that, because obviously you can't do that in a text message. Um, so uh, just basically a straightforward um, message area for you to type. And once you have that information updated, you just click Save, and it'll update. Let's say you want to change them to a different campaign. Um, I think I only have two, but let's say I just wanted to put them on a buyer campaign. You'll see... It'll update and it'll change his messages. Now these are all buyer related campaigns. So pretty simple. Again, if you want to edit any of these, you just click on it and you can make your changes and then hit save and it'll update that information. I'm going to put him back onto the seller campaign so it's accurate. And you see again that it resets it. Again, if you change the campaign or reassign them to a new campaign, it's going to start them over. So they'll receive the first message. Uh, this one's on day one, so that'll be tomorrow. I think that's what this says here. Yep, day one. Pretty simple. Pretty cool. Next, you can add a campaign, text campaign. Let's say you wanted to add uh, a secondary campaign. Same thing. You'll have your options here. Uh, I'm going to just add this text campaign just for display purposes. You'll see that it adds that. Again, you can modify these messages. Um, and it'll add that campaign. I would not recommend this. Again, they'll be receiving a lot of text messages simultaneously, so do that a caution. 
and we can click the delete and remove that one. So that covers the email and text campaigns. Um, again, just so you know, all of your email and text campaigns are located on your email menu up here on the main test bar. You can go in and make any modifications, add new campaigns, um, change the dates as well on, the, on those sections. The next section is your social profile. So this is a client creator only feature. This will take the information that has been entered into the client's details, uh, whether you just have an address or you have a phone number or whatever information you have. Our system will go out and look for any social profiles, any additional email addresses, any additional phone numbers that are available to this client that you may not have to give you multiple contact information for this client. Very, very cool, very powerful. So if we want to look up the client's information, simply click on the lookup. Person information lookup. This process will search for a person's social media, email, and additional phone numbers available based on the information already in their profile. Once completed, it will update automatically and provide you for review. We're going to process the lookup. It's going to look it up. It's quick. Wow. You can see how much information has just populated to this client's, this client's profile. So we will go through some of this. You will see it actually updated his name and brought in his middle name. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows his middle name, but that is his middle name. The uh, address is still the same. The primary email address stays the same, but these are all of his email addresses that have been associated or related to his account. I can vouch for quite a few of these. Uh, these are a lot of uh, accounts informations uh, that are uh, valid, so they are good emails. Uh, the Cell phone number is the client creator support email, our support center. So it pulled in our support center emails. You can see that right there. Very cool. These additional phone numbers are additional phone numbers that he has had or has. Um, so these are information that is available. Pulls in the employment. He was listed as an owner of a restaurant uh, in his area. Uh, so it pulled that information in as well. I don't know if anybody noticed this, but you see all these profiles that just appeared in this section. They populated. You automatically have his profile for his Facebook, his Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Well, I'm not signed in. It is his LinkedIn profile. So you're going right to their social media profiles. This is a extremely powerful tool that you are able to use. You can communicate with these clients on multiple social media levels. You're getting multiple phone numbers, multiple email addresses to ensure accuracy in your system. I think this is probably one of the coolest CRM features that I have ever seen. Um, there is absolutely nothing that will prevent you from getting in contact with any of your clients or staying connected to any of your clients. If you find out that some of these email addresses may not be valid or may be too old, uh, I can probably tell you that AOL one might be, uh, might be old, who knows, maybe is using AOL. If you wanted to remove it, you just click on the edit button, scroll down to the one that you want to remove. Let's say we want to remove this one. Just click on that, it'll remove it. Um, there was one other AOL. Yeah, AOL, AOL. this one here. Uh, same thing with uh, the phone numbers. I believe this phone number was his old home, he told me, so I guess rid of that. And then hit save. And that'll close out that information. So as you can see, it populates the uh, 
new list, got rid of those email addresses that are no longer valid, uh, and the one phone number that was no longer valid. So that way you can keep your information updated if you need to contact them. So if you wanted to send an email to any of these email addresses, you can click right over here. Uh, you would obviously get rid of this one with this one, put that in there, and send them an email. Send a text. Take one of these phone numbers, populate it in the two, and send the text. Simple, fast, how cool is that? You can be in contact with these clients in seconds with their information. So this is all based on a email address that was pulled in to a, the account. Um, nothing more. Again, uh, well, we did have the phone number, but again, that's a support phone number for client creator, and that pulled in those email addresses. But everything else was related to RAND uh, and is brought in all of these additional information just by an email address. Uh, same thing with a cell phone. If you have a cell phone, it will probably pull in just as much, if not possibly more, because social media or because cell phones are attached to so much more information now. So that is available to you under the new Client Creator CRM. I know I've covered a lot of information, and there is a lot of tools in this system that are extremely useful to you. If you have any questions on how to use something, you can obviously relate back to this video or send our support team an email, and we will be glad to help you in any way that we can. Uh, this is a brand new CRM for our system, and it will be evolving. Uh, we will be adding new features to it, new systems. Uh, and as we do, we will definitely make sure we let you know and show you a tutorial on how to use that. But for now, this is going to be a, an incredible changeover to a powerful tool in Client Creator that hopefully will allow you to uh, convert those leads and get in contact with these, these clients and, and uh, allow instantaneous communication because I believe that that is a key to success uh, for any business, uh, but preferably uh, with the real estate business. I thank you uh, for watching this, and again, uh, uh, you can email our team at supportaclientcreator.com or our phone number, 951-269-2337. Have a great day.